Hi everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I have got great news for all of those aspirants who are looking for a job, uh, who are looking for a government job. Okay, uh, so uh, look, like watch the video for all the details. So this is the recruitment notification for Indian Army. All B Tech branches are eligible. Okay, and there is no recruitment test. So what are the eligibility criteria that I will discuss in this video? Okay, and like uh, most of the branches are eligible. So let's start. First of all, you must be obviously of Indian national or other eligibility criteria is given. Age limit. This is very very important for uh, the SSC Tech age limit of 65 men and 30 years women. It should be between 20 to 27 years. Okay, as on 1st October 25. Okay, you should be uh, like this within this age limit before 1st October 2025. Okay, uh, as on this uh, age. Okay, as on this date. Uh, for other um, like people, they have given the criteria. Now, uh, another important thing is education qualification. So candidates who have passed the requisite engineering degree are eligible. They can be in the final year as well. So this is also very important that even if you are in final year, then also you are eligible. So but your degree, you must get your degree or uh, your mark sheet, right? All those proof you must submit before 1st October. So all the, the documents you should have within 1st October of 2025, then only you are eligible. Even if you are currently in final year, that is fine. But you should be able to produce all the uh, degrees and the documents before 1st October 2025. Okay. So uh, all other things are given and eligibility criteria. And like uh, final semester year studying candidates will be provisionally allowed to appear in the SSB subject to the following criteria. You should not, you should uh, clear some cutoff and all those things they have, they have given. You should clear the cutoff criteria. Okay. Now let's come to the uh, like uh, vacancies. So for uh, like SSC tech, there are 65 vacancies for men. For women, we have separate vacancies for civil engineering, right? This is the main mother stream. These are also equivalent stream that are eligible so if you even if you are from any of this team then also you can apply for this particular job role we have 75 uh, vacancies here here in the computer science one you can see electronics is also eligible so you guys can apply here as well you have 60 vacancies here and in the electrical job role here also we have electronics uh, like available we have 33 job roles are there and for electronics we have 64 so you can apply so just check the criteria okay so mechanical also you have huge number of jobs 101 so now if we go uh, below for women also they have given the same criteria for women you have separate uh, vacancies so you will have higher chances of getting selected okay we'll discuss about the eligibility criteria don't worry so now if i uh, like scroll the uh, notification so here right what are the documents required so these are the documents required that you must uh, like submit okay first of all you have to have the application form you have to fill the application form you can go in the uh, website uh, this website then you have to fill the application form i will provide the link all the link will be present in the comments below okay so you have to have these documents all these documents you must have else you will not be eligible so make sure you have these documents and now what is the shortlisting procedure shortlisting procedure is basically uh with the marks with your semester engineering degree marks and also it, it can be within your 10th and 12 marks as well. So they will only select basis on your uh, degree marks, marks. Okay. It's not like there will be some written test or something. There will be no written test. Simply they will select on the basis of marks. Okay. So if you have good marks in your semesters of, or, or, or your engineering degree, then you have higher chance of getting selected here. Okay. So center allotment, all those things are given. You have to go to the center and then do the submission, all those things. You can uh, read through this. There will be a medical examination. Make sure you pass the medical examination. Now there are, like obviously before getting the full time job there will be a training and in that training uh, if you if you perform according to their wish then obviously you will be selected for the full time role else you will not be selected mostly you guys get selected the duration of training is 49 of weeks and like the allowances all those things are given you will, you will get an allowance okay so uh, then right uh, like these are the promotion criteria of how much uh, on how many years you will have to uh, do your jobs and you will get promoted all the roles all the ranks are given okay you can see all are good and these are the uh like p's so obviously when you will join right your uh, p will be between this band 56.1000 uh, uh sorry 56100 to 1,77,500 okay after that as you get the promotion you, you will get like your salary will also obviously increase okay you can see all this and obviously you will get some allowance as well 
so all these uh, things are there other allowances are there you can uh, go check they check this house like there are many allowances if you work for army so these are the things how to apply i told you right just go to this website and click on the registration okay and uh, fill uh, fill up the form i will uh, provide the link in the description below and what are the documents required that they have told you uh, told here so you can uh, look uh, for the documents here so merit list will be created created then only you will be called for the like interview and for training all those things right you will be called okay so yeah these are the things and make sure the application window is open from 7 jan to 5th feb so make sure you fill up the form you don't miss the form if you miss the form and if you try to fill it up after 5th you will you won't be able to so make sure you fill the form early on okay and like all the process you do okay so these are uh, this was about the job notification of indian army so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit the like button so that it helps other students as well to reach and to know about this notification thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video until then happy learning